Hello and welcome to this video about an Emotiva ERC3 CD player. This will be a review because there is nothing wrong with it. I bought it in full working condition locally just because I wanted to have one and just see how well are they made because they, they have a quite a good reputation. So um, I think this is American answer to Cambridge Audio in England uh, of, of getting a, a very good component for uh, not so big money. Remote control is reasonably nice and what I like about it, I bought it fine too, but the batteries are held in a separate compartment, you know, separate holder, so if they leak you can just buy for a dollar a new holder, replace it and, and, and remote is still fine. And, and the build is excellent throughout. Um, very solid, everything fits perfectly, the material looks quality. As you can see, every section is um, separate and it's divided just like in Vardia players of, of, of yesteryear. Um, the only negative I have about it really is that it uses DVD mechanism. However, I'll show you later, if we have time, that the play is track 30 and track 60, which is 3 millimeter you know, uh, interruptions, data layer and, and, and errors. So they're just severe um, tests for the player. Power supply, reasonably elaborate, with the biggest uh, heatsink I've ever seen. Capacitors are mainly um, Nippon Chemical, although there are few Elners there. Not that many regulators, I can see three or four maybe. Huge transformer and excellent filter. You know, filters are reasonably elaborate also. Um, for digital to analog converter, we have uh, analog devices 1955. There's a processor here that does the audio video as well, DSD, and all sorts of things. They both accept uh, HD CD signal. And apparently this is an HD CD player and it says here HD at the moment because I'm playing HD CD disc. But I have no idea what uh, actually does the HD CD filtering. Maybe it is this MT1389 or the quick look on, the, on its uh, data sheet revealed that there's nothing there. It's compatible but doesn't actually do the coding. These are Burr Brown 2134 op amps um, and that is a uh, output ASEBU Toslink in SPD. So it has all three driver for the uh, mechanism. Um, in here we have analog outputs balanced and unbalanced and again uh, more op amps, uh, what are they there, because people like to know op amps, 4562. So that is basically all, I mean it, it's extremely solid, extremely solid, the player is heavy, about 10 kilos, and, and as I said well made. Since we still have time and the uh, art ensemble of Chicago is finishing, let me see if I can play this. And, and, and you know, it has, it has, uh, the remote has features, you know, you can nicely dim the display, it can go, you see, brighter, but it can go dimmer. So the fault is actually pretty dim. So let's unload this and you'll see how the... Uh, a tray works. And, I mean, this... This must be the first player with DVD mechanism. I only had like a couple that could actually read those tracks, track 30 and 60. And uh, that just doesn't happen all that often. Well, as we see, it, uh, it's spinning for a long time. Okay, so we go 1, 2, 3 and 0, track 60. Plays as if nothing happened. 
uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 0, track 60, and it plays. So, uh, never seen that in a DVD mechanism. It puts out uh, normal 100 microwatts or 0.1 of a milliwatt. So, uh, so it's a good reader, even though I don't like the um, uh, I don't like uh, the DVD mechanism. Well, this one does its job. I have no idea what it actually is. Maybe one of you out there will tell me. Um, well, maybe even I'll grab quickly a screwdriver and take off the top. And uh, it will be better visible because I don't want to really dismantle it. If something works, why press around with it? So that's how it. Um, this is how it work. How it looks um, close up. There is a, there's a barcode there, but I, and I did a search, but um, it drew blank. So well, thank you very much, and. Uh, to the next one. Bye-bye.